Comic Con 2018. We're trying to decide who will be our invited guest to join us on the stage at our stand to do a painting for the public. And uh, everyone decided, well, it had to be Jerry. We obviously have a long and wonderful and warm relationship with Jerry, dating back all the way back to the beginning of the Lord of the Rings days, where Jerry came and saw us actually at a Comic Con and proposed that he might be the person that could do all of the beautiful hero consumer products paintings of the world of Middle Earth. And uh, we made an introduction to our dear friend John Mayo, uh, who was at New Line Consumer Products. And ultimately, Jerry got the gig and he's still doing it today. Uh, and needless to say, all of us have benefited from the extraordinary art that Jerry creates. Of course, I wouldn't let him off that easily, though, and I challenged him to doing something a little bit uh, extra special. And that was taking our Gandalf mini epic, which we'd just created, and we were having a life-size fiberglass standee on our stand. And I suggested to him, why doesn't he have a go at painting a realistic version of this design, as if this character was made of flesh and blood? And uh, that's indeed exactly what Jerry undertook. And needless to say, again, the results were spectacular. The, uh, our audience, the fans and uh, visitors to Comic-Con watched this painting unfold over three days. And as Jerry masterfully attacked the, uh, the paper with his uh, brushes, airbrush and paints, and produced this stunning painting, bringing this little character to life. So uh, I congratulate Jerry. It was thrilling to have you alongside us uh, at, our, uh, at our stand at Comic-Con back then. And uh, the results speak for themselves because what came out of it was an absolutely exquisite piece of art. Cheers to you, and I hope you all enjoy uh, having a look at Jerry's painting of the mini epic of Gandalf. <laughs>